Welcome everyone back to Let's Play Breath of the Wild. In the last episode we did all the shrines in the Elden region. In this episode uh, we're going to actually continue the quest at hand. The Divine Beast one. Oh yeah. That guy looks like a guard of some sort. Probably is. Anyway, we got on the, the map there a marker to actually head to do the Divine Beast quest, and hopefully we can actually do it. Hopefully. I'm pretty sure we can. Um, I don't think there's any reason why we wouldn't. Anyway, fuck off. Thank you. Thank you for fucking off. Right? Abandoned North Mine. Hmm. What do you what do you have to say? Mm hmm? Yeesh! What's going on today? So many people out and about. What should you should know it gets much hotter past here, and there are also lots of monsters. It's really dangerous. Do you know Unobo? What's a stranger like you asking about Unobo? Boss wants to know. Huh? Boss does? Well, then I guess I better tell you where Unobo is. Yonobo went to the vault to fetch some painkillers. Now that I think, uh, now that you mention it, I suppose he never came back. This place is dangerous, so you probably shouldn't go looking for him. So, bye. Ah! <laughs> you know it's easy uh, character development. Just give him a weird quirk uh, in his speech. Very simple. I don't know why the heat level would matter if you're if you got flame resistance anyways. But anyway, this is like a cannon, so let's go ahead and Stop that! That's boss's canyon, don't dare touch that lever. I'm going to. Oh, did I touch the lever? What are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it, bitch? Ah! Uh! Get back up here, you son of a fuck. I will end you. Ba-kaboom! Ha ha. Dumb bitch. I'm touching the lever. You're not doing anything about it. He's like, I'm paid by the hour. <laughs> Okay, that accomplished nothing. So, he's all the way over there, huh? Well... Looks like a ton of these guys all around here. Damn! They found the lava, but they're actually immune to that, so... That doesn't really hurt them. Oh, for fuck's sake, just get away from me. Oh, shit! So many of these fucks! So many fucks around here. Oh, Jesus. Hold on. Wait right there. Thank you. And you can get tons of fire arrows in this location. You just gotta kill these guys. So if you have an ice weapon, I recommend coming up here. Yeah, die. Thank you. Well, they don't all drop fire arrows for some reason, but hey, whatever. And they see you from far away, too. Yee -hoo! I remember in older video games, like, that wouldn't register, really. Okay. So you can actually activate that uh, while it's turning can be pretty helpful. That was pretty cool. Alright, let's try it. Let's try aim a little bit. Uh, got one of them. I'm gonna call that good enough. I'm not gonna spend all day doing this. Let's see what was inside of the skull that we just destroyed. This is a pretty cool area. 
I'd say. I'd reckon. Well, there's monster parts, obviously. Wait, why didn't that have, like, an arrow? That's weird. Usually it shows how strong it is. Oh, it's because I don't have a bow on. That's why. Duh. I don't have anything equipped. Amber, how disappointing. Sorry, whoever's named Amber, but you're disappointing. Anyway. Hello there. Hello there. Ah. I don't know why I keep refer referencing uh, Obi-Wan. I'm not even a Star Wars fan. If you want to know how much I'm not a Star Wars fan, I, w I was hesitant to say Obi-Wan because I wasn't sure who actually said that. Damn. Uh, I don't know if there's really a point to shooting it here, but... I think that thing right down there is gonna be good. Oh yeah, it just creates an updraft, okay. I thought that might happen. Not that we need it, because we can just climb everywhere now. Another royal bow, how great. Not my fucking throat bubbles, dude. Uh, we have enough of that. Royal bow. I don't use bows enough to really give too much of a shit um, about replacing bows or upgrading the bow inventory. The The priority I tend to set is um, weapons first and foremost, then shields, then bows. Because I, I'm very conservative with arrows, so I don't really, you know... Oh, dude, he's got a weird aura around him. Anyway, I, I don't really uh, use arrows that much because I'm very conservative with them, so uh, try not to, you know. Since I don't use them that much, I end up, like, never breaking bows. I mean, how often have you seen me breaking a bow on camera here? I, I don't think I've broken too many in this entire Let's Play. I knew there'd be something up here. Too easy of a spot. Woo! I might upgrade my bow selection next time I upgrade something, though. Oh man, oh man, oh man! What am I gonna do? Monsters! They're here! They found me! Help! Huh? Huh. 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 Now for this scene, what you're going to do is, uh, after your lines are over, you're going to breathe in pretty much the same way, but several different times. That's what we're going to ask of you. Okay, you got it? Alright. Cool. Oh, I, I kind of want that rupee. Mm -hmm. Now I've gotten a good look. Whoa, it's a Hylian. Were you the one who broke through the crag to rescue me, Goro? Thanks, brother. Well, what brought you all the way out here to begin with? Looking for Yunobo. Oh, so that's it. Boss told you to come find me. Few things, goodness. In any case, I sure am glad you saved me, Goro. The name's Yunobo, everyone calls me Yunobo, makes sense, Goro. I came to get some painkillers for the boss, but the magma bomb caused a rock slide sealing the entrance, Goro. By the way, how did you break all those rocks at the entrance? With a cannon? Huh? huh? You're his boss's cannon? That thing is difficult to use, I thought only boss- <laughs> Dude, it's one lever, and you place a bomb inside. Yeah. Sorry, I've got to run. 
but do come by and see the boss later, okay? He may be gruff, but he always repays a favor. I'm sure there's a reward in it for you. Okay, then goodbye for now, Goro. No, don't make the rupee disappear. Please, please let it still be there. Link, what are you doing? Stay put. I'm not done. We gotta go find this rupee. There it is. Oh, thank God you're still there. Dude! Good rupees. There's a cobble crusher, which is not as good as the cobble smasher. Uh, but I guess I had room for it anyway. Hi, Saro. Edward! Anyway. So, uh, time to head back. We can travel there. Why not? Tired of warping everywhere, you know? I'm gonna have to limit myself on that, even though it's really easy to do so. To, you know, to warp. I'm sure busting that rock open serves a, some sort of purpose. Maybe I should go for it. It's not gonna be an updraft, because there's already updraft, so... I need to figure out which cannon to use. Probably that one, if I had to guess. Or maybe this one. Let's just take a look. Let's take a gander. Alright. Where all do you go? No. Okay. That is not the right one. Actually, it's probably that one down there. Let's go get it. Get it, boy. If I remember correctly, it's either a chest or just another Korok. Alright. Set you down. Kaboom! Got him. Actually, it might be gems. It's definitely, uh, Po yep. That makes sense. Nice. Nice little assortment. It does pay to not warp everywhere. You get to find some good stuff. I'm actually glad we got the Cobble Crusher, because now we have a weak version of the Smasher to use for ore and such. Yeah, yeah. You guys can shoot me all you like, whatever. I think I upgraded the armor off screen. Hey, you don't mess with boss's cannon. You don't want to send the cannonball flying. You don't even think about the explosives inside. Whatever. A boot liquor. Anyways. Hello, divine beast. Hello. Yikes! Just when I thought I was being careful, I looked to the side of the screen when there was something spawning right in front of me. It's pretty dangerous living here, huh? But I guess Gorons can handle it. They're not so weak. A lot of rupees in these things. Conspicuous rock makes me think there's something to do with it. Let's put it on this chair. The rock needs a rest from being a rock. Hey, a fire. Let's sleep until morning, eh? Because uh, I would prefer it to be daytime. I get the... Uh, never mind. There's no point in explaining something that shouldn't be explained, you know. Alright, let's go talk to the guy... Hmm. Ah, it's the tiny traveler. Yonobo told me about how you helped him, brother. Here's a reward for you. Hylian's like you knew this sort of thing, right? Ooh, three fireproof elixirs. Well, I'm not gonna find use in that. Well, I took my pain course, so I guess it's time to meet up with no- <coughs> No- <coughs> Sorry. Oh my god, I'm sorry. 
I uh, had a piece of chip lodged in my throat. I mean, no disrespect to Daruk's legacy, but what if I'm not there to give Rudania a good walloping? Daruk? You tell me you don't know about Daruk, the Goron champion? See that statue up there? That's Daruk. Yeah, I know who Daruk is. We keep seeing him in memories. Champions know they better eat their gravel if they want to keep up with the roof. Speaking of which, can you believe this view? Just look at all those delectable rocks sprinkled on those mountains. Mighty tasty. I may not know a whole lot about this calamity Ganon thing, but mark my words, I'll protect this land of ours to the death. Right, little guy? <laughs> <laughs> hey, by the way, congrats on becoming the princess's appointed knight. That's a really big deal, protecting the king's daughter. <laughs> no pressure. Seriously, though, the princess is a strong personality. So strong, she can't quite see the range for the peaks. Remember that, and you'll be fine. Huh? What the? <laughs> All right, so what was I saying? That was a little strange. As far as I know, Death Mountain has been quiet for decades. But if the mountain is shivering enough to send out a bunch of boulders that size, then never mind. Forget I said anything. Well, that's definitely a bad omen. What's gotten into you? Hylians sure are strange. Anyway, Yonobo is actually a descendant of the great Daruk. That's why the Slacker can even use Daruk's protection. He's He uses it to protect himself when we fire him at Rudani. Oh, oh my god, my throat, what the fuck. That's the only way we can chase that blasted beast away. We have no choice because normal cannonballs are no good against them. Alright, that's enough out of me. Time to drive off Rudania. Are you okay? Yeah, just peachy, dumb traveler. Of course I'm not okay. Damn, dude. It's just a formality. I'm afraid I won't be going anywhere today. Hate to put you on the spot, but can you please d tell Yunobo that I'm gonna have to cancel for today? He should be at Elden Bridge. Well, luckily they put a marker on so that we can figure out where that is. Because I don't know things by name. Of course, I do have a map, so it's not really an issue, is it? You could just look on the map. Ugh. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. You know, I'm getting really far ahead on these uploads. It's only a few days after I recorded the last one. And I only upload one a week, which I guess isn't that important. If I were, like, making short videos, it would basically be the same rate per minute, you know, in terms of uploads. I remember back when I streamed... Uh, frequently, back before I took, like, several hiatuses. I did, um, did, like, recording sessions where I recorded for a straight hour and then cut the footage up. Um, and I believe those lasted 
between an hour and two hours. I think after like two hours, it, it just became like my commentary was getting terrible. I stopped talking as much. Uh, not that my commentary was good to begin with, but you know, you know how it is. You know what I just tried to do? I just tried to um, shake the uh, Joy-Con to see if that would make Link throw it. Because I never use motion controls, so I wouldn't be surprised if that was def that was something. Oh my god. I know, I know what you are! We're getting use out of our frost blade, damn. This is also why I stored frost blades in Link's house. But it turns out we uh, found a few more, so we didn't need it. So that's nice. That's pretty nice, huh? That's pretty nice. Anywho, we're, we're getting close here. There you are. Let's get a good weapon out. Um. Um. You're good. So he's safe. That shield is impenetrable. Okay, we're just gonna... Yeah! Someone please help me! Alright, whatever. Oh, you've got a drill shaft. That's kinda cool. Anywho. Ouch! Bitch! Get the fuck out of here! Ah! Motherfucker. There. Spread out. Spread out! I wish I was good at impressions. <laughs> Could have done a Three Stooges impression there. But, uh, I know, I know my limits, so I didn't really try. Instead, I just said what he said. Which doesn't really count. Well, a sneak try- I mean, a flurry rush went to waste. Love that you can see Va Ruta back back there. Wow, you're crazy strong, Goro. You saved me again. Yeah, I'm cool like that. No worries. Anyway, phew. Thanks for saving me, brother. I wouldn't have. I would have been in real trouble if uh, you hadn't shown up when you did, Goro. Still no sign of Boss. Say eh? he's not coming. Ha, huh, not coming. But why, Goro? His back hurts. After all, we went through all that trouble to get him. The painkillers didn't even end up working, Goro. Well, boss can't help. There's nothing else we can do. I suppose I'll just head back now. Wait a minute. Mm. I want to board Rudania. Huh? What? You're going to try to board the Divine Beast? Do you think you are Lord Daruk? It's dangerous in there, Goro. Mm. Though I guess if you weakened it first, it might be possible. But why risk it? He talks. Well, uh, hmm, well, if you, I don't really get it, but I'm sure you have your reasons. The problem is, good old boss raised the Bridge of Eldon to make sure that mean divine beast couldn't get over here. I'm pretty sure the divine beast would be able to cross that lava. It's it's as long as that bridge is. I think it would get here if it wanted to. In order to get to where Rudania is, we'll have to find a way to get the Bridge of Eldon back down, Goro. I also would normally use the cannon to lower it, but, uh, uh, we can't get across unless we figure something out. You literally told- I used the cannon before, dude! You know how you can use cannons, don't- you know how to use cannons, don't you? Maybe we can get across, after all. Uh, so he's gonna be the cannonball. And he's gonna be protected by that shield, so he won't get hurt. My ancestor Daruk was a big deal, Goro. That's what boss says, so it's gotta be true. And I can use Daruk's protection just like Daruk could. That means there's no need to worry, Goro. So rest easy, got it? Well, go on then. Take aim in the bridge of Elden fire away. Be kind of gentle. There's no gentle... There's nothing gentle about fucking a cannon, so... So it aims for you, you don't have to shoot in the middle. That's nice. Yep. 
Hey, hot, ho. <laughs> we did it. See that, Goro? If we put our heads together, anything is possible. That power I got from my ancestor, Daruk's protection, is really something else, isn't it? Anyway, anyhow, I guess my time as a cannonball isn't over just yet, Goro, so let's get a move on across that bridge, Goro, brother. Goron culture is so cool. So he's gonna follow you. This is somewhat like an escort mission. But he's invincible, so it's a little bit better than Resident Evil's. Resident Evil 4, that is. Of course, that escort mission wasn't that bad either. I, f I can definitely think of worse. Divine Beast Varudania. Well, that ain't good. Oh, yikes. A sentry is always a nuisance, no matter where it is or how many of them there are. If, you f if one finds you, Redania will go nuts, which would cause Death Mountain to erupt, Goro. Mm. I always get spotted and the magma bombs come raining down one after another. If boss were here, he'd swat those magma bombs away like they were nothing and force his way up. I don't think you'd be able to do that, Goro, and I don't want to cause you any trouble. Hmm. Maybe the best idea is to give me a signal and let me know when I should stop and when I can move forward. Uh, <laughs> mind powers. So obviously a whistle is how we're gonna do it. When I hear the whistle, however, stop in my tracks or start moving forward. I like it. Even though it's kinda like calling a horse. Um, is that like a universal thing for calling horses? Dude, you are jacked. Just realized that you've got abs, dude. Not all Gorons do. I don't know how you're a slacker. Those aren't easy to maintain. You also have to dehydrate yourself. I mean, you don't have to. That's not the only way, but... You know what I mean. Alright. Stay there. I'm gonna see if I can't take these out. Or something. I wonder if I can damage it. I don't even know. Uh... Not really. I mean, we do have one ancient arrow, which could be useful. But obviously what we gotta actually do is uh, make the dude... Okay. okay! Walk under there and hide. Pretty simple stuff, honestly. Alright, let's go. Come on. Do not linger, my friend. Actually, I, I should uh, equip this so I can get some rocks along the way. That'd be nice. Haha! -ha. -ha. What are you laughing about? Anyways. He stands straight like that. What a what a cute kid. Are there any like magnesisable ones? I don't know. Let's see if we can't uh, get some high ground here and maybe take it out. That would definitely be preferable. Well, we can knock these onto it. I don't know what good that's gonna do. Fuck! It missed. Oh shit! Oh, thank god that took it out in one hit, cause I fucking fell. Hot dagging. Alright, get out of here. 
By the way, if my capture card keeps fucking up, I don't even, I still don't know for sure that was the capture card, but I'm pretty sure it was, but... If it keeps fucking up like that, uh, I might have to buy another one. Right. Which, they're, they're not cheap. Elgato. HD60S. Those aren't cheap. But I guess that would be a good excuse to get a better one. I got this all the way back in like... 20... 2018, I think. Before I even had a computer that could use it. Well, I guess I did. Now I think about it. But not well, not reliably. Fucking God. Ugh, fine. I always jump the gun. What? Oh! You're supposed to be the... You're supposed to be the cannon ball. And we're supposed to shoot the divine beast. I see. Eat this! What happens if I shoot him at the uh, other things? I'm not totally sure. We did it, Goro. If we keep this up, we should be able to corner Rudania. Now get up here. I need to test something out. Are you not going to? You just don't want to? I guess I understand that. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, they don't really give that to you as an option, which I guess I'm grateful, because if that was going to fuck me up, then... Well, I'd rather not be able to do it anyways. Anyway, I'm pretty sure getting caught is like no big deal. It just makes like a bunch of magma rocks fall and it's uh, you take a lot of damage, but I have a lot of healing items. Well, this is very convenient. Ugh. There we go. You want to attack them from the top, I think. It seems like that works a lot better. Get over here. Wait, I gotta bring it. Bring the pain. Taste the pain! Taste the pain! There. There you are. Okay, now let's bring that over there. Well, that didn't really work out. Not the way I wanted it to anyways. Okay, I need to set this down then. I obviously can do it, but... It's gonna be tricky. Oh, come on. Stay there. Yes! Thank you. I know we're leaving that guy behind, but we'll go back to him. There's no point in making him stop every five seconds, you know. See you. So I, don't, I know that that bridge was there basically to move like, get us between this, but, like, what's the point? We can just break them. We're also gonna keep this with us, because it's, like, a surefire way to destroy those sentries. Alright, let's go back. Let's go get them. Ancient screw! How useful! I can sell you, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, of course not. You have as much range as a fucking horse. But you don't really have- you have like holes for ears, so... I guess you have more of an excuse. Of course, I don't really... I don't really know, uh... How would that- how would that work? 
<laughs> He's just really happy to have finally caught up to you. Yeah, there are bridges. I think the bridges are there to block the uh, the sight of the sentry, but I prefer to just break the sentry. Where did my fucking block go? Did you despawn my block? Whatever, bitch. Like I said, we got one ancient arrow left. One f free one left, so... By the way, where's the next cannon? Oh, hi there. Ohio. Uh, let me see. Let's use uh, the weapon I was using. Really takes them out really quickly. Yeah, yo. All right. So that's obviously that would obviously shoot him into the ocean. We don't want that. So we're gonna have to shoot him at Rodania, Rodania again. Baboo! Seems like Rudania is traveling up towards the crater. Yeah. We're weakening it. It's made of like an unmovable metal or of some sort. I don't even know if it's metal. It doesn't look like it. it. Looks like some sort of weird material. I have no idea. Anyway, um, now I really don't want to, hello, right. I was pressing the down button, but for some reason it registered it as the right button, very odd, not a fan, anywho, uh, let's climb to the top here, see what we can do about this, now I am pretty sure uh, this is gonna this might take forever though. That's the thing. Oh, no, apparently they dive to one bomb. Are you kidding? It's like nothing Well, this will be piss easy I'm sure that if it were like not an upgraded bomb it would take more than one but yeah So all you have to do really is get higher than the sentries and they'll be fine seems like a good deal I don't know what that accomplished but whatever uh, let's get the uh, sword back out cuz Okay, buddy. I'm sure I'm sure there's a way to utilize that rock to uh, make killing them easy, like using stasis and launching them at it. But like I've established already, it's pretty hard for me to actually. Oh look! Hello there. It's pretty hard for me to you know aim with stasis. Uh, don't forget about you. I would never forget about you. Don't you forget about me. Don't, 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 don't. Alright. Woo! Now, uh... I don't know what the point of that rock is, but... Anyways, let's go get the guy. Hello there. Like I said, you know, it's th this is really easy. Um, I think all of them are going to be... I think the last Divine Beast I'm doing is probably the hardest in terms of the quest to get there. But 
you know, that doesn't mean it's hard. It's just that everything that we're doing is really easy. And we can, I love that we can see a Kala from all the way over here. It's so nice. Anyway, you have a weapon, kind of want to take care of you then. Like this, the cheap way. Ah, get up. Hurry up, bitch. There we go. Moblin time. Yeah, look at all of Akala. All of it. I love being in high places. Okay. So. Last one. I think. Travel gate registered to map. By the way, do not ask why the paraglider didn't combust. Hey, little guy. Long time no see. I always knew you'd come back. You know, I never stopped believing in you. You're here to take control of old Rodania back from Ganon, eh? You're gonna need a map that shows the guts of this place. Grab the info from the guidance stone over there. Now get a move on. Okay. Welcome to the dark one. The one that is dark. Yep. Good luck. <laughs> Luckily, I don't think it stays dark the whole time, but yeah. Uh. Ah. Hello. Aha, uh -huh, I knew they would give me a torch. Just knew it. There's also another chest over here. What are you? I'll keep that in there. I don't know if we'll need it. We definitely need this torch though. So let's see. We probably have to light another torch on fire. There it is. There's you. Easy peasy. And you? Okay. Uh, and you. I didn't want to keep, like, lighting the torch and then fucking removing it. That would be annoying. Can't believe I just used the torch. Uh, I can't believe I just used the torch on that. God damn another fucking one. What do we got? Alright, we do not need this. Okay? It's fine. Another royal bow. How many of these are there? I mean, Christ. Anywho. Let's get the... Let's 
get this lit again. Alrighty. Well, I forgot to fucking kill you, but hopefully I don't need to yet. I don't want to light this sucker again. There you are. Please tell me this lights up the room. Shake a slight alt that decayed. Yes. Okay, so we can tilt the Divine Beast. Pretty simple. Nice job getting the map of the Divine Beast. The terminals that control Rudania are noted by the glowing points on your map. To take back Rudania, you'll need to activate all of the terminals. You got this, little guy. Oh, thank God. Thank you, God. So happy that you actually gave me a, the ability to fucking see. You know, I, I don't mind that. Uh, usually, I'm not a fan at all of, uh, you know. Usually, I'm not a fan of dark areas in games. I'm not a. I don't think it's a great mechanic, but. So long as it's temporary, I think it's fine. That was definitely a decent introduction. I hope we find more arrows soon, because I'm getting real tired of using them. Hey! Speak of the devil. Okay. Not bad. What's this now? Please be more arrows, that would be welcome. Yes! I called it. I don't know why they didn't just put ten in one chest, but I'm not a game designer. Okay, uh... I don't think we can reach... Oh, we can. Often, you know, what you could use an arrow for would be just as well a bombable thing. Okay. Now, that looks like something I should light on fire, so here's what we'll do. We'll shoot a fire arrow at it. Yep. yep. What are you, anyway? Tch, just an ancient gear. I can grind for that, like, anytime I want. Now, the, the music that plays here is really good. Uh, I actually think it reminds me a bit of uh, the Ancient Cistern. I don't, I'm not entirely sure why it does. Now, what is the purpose of that? I think uh, I'm going to have to use the Divine Beast to figure it out. I just sort of don't want to tilt it and then realize I have to tilt it back for another... Also, let's get rid of this torch. And get the uh, superior weapon, even though it's not going to make too much of a difference. Ice arrows, hell yeah. Alright, let's fly up. Uh, can I not be stuck? Okay, well that was a waste. Alright, no avoiding it now. Let's tilt... A bit. At least it's somewhat quick, you know? Quick and painless. Let's head out. Hmm. Well, okay. I see what you're putting down. Is 
So that makes the Divine Beasts actually travel around, which is kind of cool. Uh, wait. Let me turn the fucking fire arrows off. We don't need it. Also, I did not grab the superior weapon like I said I would, but it's not that great anyway, so forget about it. My lord. Thank you for finally fucking dying. Alright, so we need to light this some way, somehow. Not sure how yet. Hopefully we'll figure it out soon. That's obviously where the boss is gonna be. Let's flip it again. Hey, there's a ball. Where does it go? Back here. Okay, I see. So I need to make it slide down here. But it's stuck. So I need to light this thing. I just don't know how. Maybe I will still have use for the torch or something. I think that might be it. Of course, how do I get up here? A conundrum. Well, I don't want it to be lit on fire. It'll burn up. Let's just keep it for now. Let's also do the other stuff in here, too. For one thing, that one's gonna be pretty easy. At least I assume so. So let's, uh, move that over. Now we can basically fly down there. Woo! Simple. Yep. Yep, I can count. Whether or not I remember, well, that's a different story, isn't it? Okay, so I know I now know what that's going to be used for. But again, like, how do I light the thing up? How do I get a blue flame? Wait a minute. I see. Okay, hold on. I think we got it. I think I got it this time. Righty-o. Hopefully the torch doesn't break. Let's get another uh, speedy thing going. I shouldn't have left the torch burn for all that time. Definitely a bad move. This is like a marathon thing I'm doing. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, okay, hold on. Wait, wrong one. No worries, I got it. Easy. Easy as pie. Now hopefully we don't need that at all. Let's get this. Hey! Oh my god, get the fuck away from me. You bitch! Get the hell away from her, you bitch! Okay. Lift that up and let the ball down. Cool! I can leave this here. I think we're done with the torch. I also think the club will light on fire too, so...
I don't know what I would have done if the torch and club both broke before I figured that out. Shake a slay on to the skate. Just a little more. Just a little more. Please don't stop. Please. Please keep going. Wait a minute. It's on this side. There's a chest there. Well. Yikes. Uh, I wonder what this chest is. <laughs> Give me a fucking break, dude. You gotta be kidding me. Anyway, um... Yeah, so there's this puzzle. Let's see, so that goes up. Um, it's not really the puzzle I was thinking. Oh, okay. Well, this should be easy then. And I think that you can, no. I need something to put over top it. I believe. So that should be a big fat block. I don't think I can remove any of these, so that sure does suck. There's nothing in here, is there? I wish I could remove that. Love how the orb is pointless now. Wonder if I can cheese it using the orb. The almighty orb. Huh. Now if I had Rivoli's Gale, I could cheese it. Oh my god! Can you believe what I just did? <laughs> just one terminal remaining. Just one more. Oh my god, I can't believe that. I cheesed it so hard. That is definitely not something you're supposed to be able to do. Anyway, where is this thing? It's on the... It's actually on the spine. Hmm. So I don't think we're gonna need that orb anymore. It's not gonna be useful. Uh, so let's move the Divine Beast. This Divine Beast definitely has, like, the simplest controls out of any of them. Now, all of them are already pretty simple, you know. They're pretty rudimentary. Look at that. That's an eye, dude. That might be where I'm supposed to go. Otherwise, I'm not sure why it's there. Shit. All right. Okay, I see how it is. Bada bing. Okay. Huh? An eye saw me, but I, I guess I'll ignore it. Who cares, right? You can look for it. Not an ancient core, dude. Well, there's a mouth. Can't really do anything about that, though. What? Okay. Fine, I'll, I'll move it up again. This is basically where we're supposed to be anyway. Oh, there you are. Hello there. It was actually necessary. Terminal. Now go ahead and 
start up the main control unit. There should be a new glowing mark on your map. You're gonna need to make your way over to that. Stay focused, little guy. Well, that basically is just right below us, so it won't be too difficult, will it? And we already know what's coming, right? I don't think I need to, you know, pretend like we don't know. Alright, let's boot it up. You ain't gotta tell me twice, man. I got him. Don't you worry. So we're actually gonna use the Master Sword for this. Um, I think that's more fitting, don't you? Haha. -ha. Oh, it's hard to hit him when he's floating like that. That was a weak ass attack. No. I don't know what the point of that was. Hey, that actually removed a lot of those fireballs, huh? Ouch. These guys are so weak right now, though. Crazy. Yeah, if I can ever reach it. Jesus. Oh yeah, I'm not full health, what am I doing? Uh, let's uh, get like an attack up, maybe? May make this go a little faster. Uh, this really isn't ordered, is it? Let's see... That's probably the best that we got. We also should refill our health a bit. I think it's a good time to eat some nuts! One, two, three, four! Cheap, cheap shots in there. Yeah, buddy. Oh, jeez. Go for it. All right, cool. Uh oh. That shield's not a good sign. Oh god. Oh wait, I can throw a bomb in there. I think I know how this works. Yes! Yes! Whew! When you see air being sucked in, that's a good sign. Ugh! Got a jump attack for a lot of these because he's like levitating slightly above my slashing range. Oh yeah. Lay it on, little guy. And you're dead, boy. Thanks for Volley for jumping in at that moment.
Heart container! Give it to me! Yet another heart to add to my collection. All right, man. Once you activate the main control, you will be able to enter the interior of this divine beast. Do you still wish to activate it? I sure do. Because of you, my spirit is finally free. Can't thank you enough. I feel like I should apologize. I was doing all I could to protect Hyrule when that thing got the best of me. Sorry that me resting with the rubble caused such a mess. The good news is, Ruthania is now back under our control. That means that our century-old Ganon beatdown plan can finally go into effect. I'm gonna take this down the mountain. I'll have a better shot at Ganon there. And then, once you've made your way into Hyrule Castle, we're gonna light that thing up. I want to give you something. It's a special power of mine called Daruk's Protection. It's no good to me now that I'm a spirit, but it might be useful for you. Here it comes! From this moment forth, the power of protection from the depths of my soul now lives inside you. Good luck, little guy. And give my regards to the princess. Link is in the castle. Utania will unleash an epic blast. Ganon won't know what hit him. Hyrule looks pretty good from up here. Even after a hundred years. The old rolling grounds sure are a sight for sore eyes. I wonder how the Gorons fared after the Great Calamity. I sure hope everyone down there is still going strong after every... Huh? Hey, look at that. Still going strong indeed. Ha!
That's the third divine beast! And we get Daruk's protection. It is a protective power containing the perfect defense of the champion Daruk. It will automatically protect you from manner attacks as long as you're holding ZL. It basically will deflect um, any attack as though uh, you were like shield bashing back perfectly. So you don't need to be good at timing anymore. Which is perfect for me because I fucking suck at it. Anyway, hello there. Hello da. Oh. Hey, brother. Thanks for so much for appeasing Rudania. I don't exactly know what you were doing in Rudania, but... Well, it seems to have calmed down, Goro. You know, while I was up there, I could have sworn I saw Lord Daruk standing on top of Rudania. I wonder, was that his ghost? Oh. Basically. I don't know how to explain it, but somehow it's felt a lot brighter now, Goro. Huh? Oh, that's right. I talked to boss about you. He said that you'd bring you to him. An order from the boss can't be refused. More move it, Goro. I can refuse it, actually, because I am <laughs> important. Anyway. I guess we'll go talk to him. Why not? Talk the, to the old bitch. What is it? Hmm, hey, it's you. You know about told me everything. You really are something else, brother, you know that? I can't believe you conquered Rudania. Colored me impressed. Good grief. Did you have to do it just when my back pain went away? I was all ready to go and raring to go at Rudania myself. Now you've gone and made it look like I was just fibbing about my back pain this whole time. Imagine that. Me. <laughs> Wah! Ha! Ha! Oh, and I'm also happy to see Inobo finally got his act together. I didn't know what that's your doing as well. But enough back padding and, and other such nonsense. Take a look at this. The divine beast Varudania has calmed down and returned to his peaceful ways. Now we can go back to digging for ore around Death Mountain. All right. I still got to thank you, brother. Oh, what's this going to be? There's some treasure in my house. Grab it. Keep it. It's yours. It's a sharp blade that Daruk himself once yielded. I'm sure will be able to make good use of it. Well, damn. Who needs whatever club I've got, right? It's well, as a highly, and I'm... You probably already know this, but... Apparently, a hundred years ago, a Hylian champion that legendary blade, the Sword of Seal's Darkness. That said, you've got a rather fine blade already, don't you? Come to think of it, you just look, look just like the Hylian champion who fought the Calamity alongside Daruk. Ah! Ha! Ah! Ah! Yeah, really hilarious, dude. Uh, let's go, I know that I'm gonna take this weapon, so I'm gonna just drop this one. It can light on fire for all I care, what the fuck ever. This place already is full of fire. Anyway, what is this? Daruk apparently wielded it. Boulder Breaker, dude! Dude, that's a really strong weapon, dude. Oh, uh, yeah, the Boulder Breaker. Fucking awesome. Anyways, uh... I'm, a I'm actually gonna store this one as well. In fact, I th I'm thinking, you know... Every time I get something like this... I'm just gonna store it. And use it in their fight against Ganon when we eventually do that. So, uh, with that in mind, I'm, I'm gonna actually head to Atino and do that, so I'll see you I'll see you there. Yep. Time to head to my house. So let me be real with you. I'm pretty sure that the capture card fucked up again, albeit slightly, uh, during that f um, whole ordeal. So, what I'm thinking is, I'm probably just going to um, buy another capture card, as painful as that might be to do. Because I don't need, I don't, I do not want the fucking game to fuck up during cutscenes. That's a no-no. I was gonna say, where's my weapons? All right, so uh, hold on a sec. Let's uh, drop this, grab that, put that there. There we go. 
Okay. I don't really care that much about storing weapons anyways. Uh, or shields. Um, we have so many <laughs> of those. Alright. So yeah, I might buy another capture card, and it looks like that capture card will be better. Uh, I have been making a lot of money. It's just I've been spending a lot of it, too. So, <laughs> I don't know. I might just do overtime to make up for it. Uh, I don't want to do that. But I guess I gotta. Anyways, um, so. Uh, I'm gonna meet you... I'm going to meet you here, and we're going to head here, okay? So, see you over there. Alright, so first we got to get our asses out of this thing. Wait, what am I doing? My god. Can I be any dumber? And of course, this is gonna be a bitch. But whatever, I'm over it. Ugh, alright. Um. Alright. Now that we're out of here, just wait till we stop, because I don't wanna. Fuck up. So we're gonna head over to that dark woods thing and do that, and that'll be the end of the episode. Uh, it's 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 just one big, big, big shrine quest. Then the next episode, we're going to do we're gonna wrap up um, something with Kakariko Village. I mean, we're not gonna be done with Kakariko Village after that, but. We're also going to be heading towards Hyrule Castle because evidently I actually need to go inside the castle before the end of the game. There's a shrine in there and a memory that we need to grab. So, yeah. I guess now's a good time. I don't want to enter Hyrule Castle and then come back to beat the game like a couple episodes later. I want to just, you know, take care of it. it kind of in the middle. I think we're a little past the middle of the LP at this point, but who's it's hard to say because there's just so much DLC stuff. And I don't know how much more of the game I'm going to show. I don't know if I wanted to show the uh, the Hebra minigames like the uh, snowball bowling or the shield surfing. Um, I might. I don't know. It's not really worth it. Like, I never really cared about the minigames in this game. For one thing, you only get rupees from it. And for another thing... So we can see the dark woods right there. Might be able to just... Shield surf our way down to it. Let's climb up here though first, before we decide on that. I mean, this capture card is really old, so I guess it's time for a replacement. I just didn't really get much mileage out of it, honestly. I want, I want this stuff. I don't know why, because um, this armor is going to be fairly useless to us for the rest of the project. Because I already got all the shrines up here, but whatever. Alright, so there's the dark woods. There's some interesting areas around it. But, uh, we're just gonna beeline it. Who dog? Yeah, it's really hot around here. There's also a, an encampment. I guarantee you there's either, there's got to be like a Korok there, but there might also be some DLC chests there too. I came around this way not too long ago off screen. There was like a, uh, a Lionel 
which who cares, you know, but uh so like some mini bosses I think there was a Hinox around this area as well. But anyways There's gotta be something of note here, right? Oh I already got that. Excuse me. Like I said, I'm glad I already mentioned that uh I came here before. I don't want to give off the impression that I'm hiding it for some reason. Gimme you. John, son of a bitch. I didn't mean to jump, but that's what happened. Perfect! You guys only dropped flint, you losers. Yeah. My ancient battle axe is severely damaged. I want amber. Amber is like... Probably a, one of the better sources of uh, money that you can come across. I think primarily just because it's just so common. So you could sell a buttload out of them every now and then. Yes, I am getting wood. I don't care. I'm kind of worried about how much wood I'm going to need, so I feel compelled to get it. Also, there's a ton of these enemies. What the hell? Opal is also a good source of money for the same reason. Fire keys. Anywho, um, so I'm not really sure if there's much a point to attacking this base, but we've got time, so let's do it. I don't know how long the dark woods are going to take, but can't take that long, right? It is pretty big. And dark, so I'm gonna get lost inevitably, but I don't think it's worth a full ass episode. I think it'll be fine. And if I, if I'm wrong, then oh well. Oh well. So what? Long video, whatever. I have streams that are four or five hours, it doesn't fucking matter. No one's watching this anyway. Who cares? I just am neuro I'm crazy and I, I want things to be consistent. Oh, you've got a really nice shield. I actually think I took that from you last time I was here. Now I think about it. Uh, so these shields suck. Um, you've got a nice club, but I'm, I'm not hurting for weapons, so that's all I wanted. Now, how to get in here? I think I just float in, but I also feel like the game might punish me for that. Let's hope not. Dude, there's a fire weapon. Uh, okay, it just warped me in. Traveler, from beyond these woods, you are now faced with a trial. Find the shrine hidden in the dark ruins. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Oh, I'm still floating. So, I think that the fire rod's gonna be fairly useful. What do you think? And a torch. Um, well, I kinda don't wanna give up anything I got. So, I'm just gonna use the fire rod. It's pretty much just as good as a torch, anyways. Now, I think the only thing I'm per particularly concerned about. Oh, hello, what the fuck are you? Luminous stone? Yeah, whatever. The only thing I'm particularly worried about is, uh... Falling into things. I don't know if there's, like, pits or anything, but... Or, like, sludge. Like, on that event tile aisle. Well, that was pointless. Anyway, it's dark as shit. This must be an amusing to watch. <laughs> Can't really see much of fucking anything. What you can do is, like, lay down a bunch of, uh, wood. To sort of mark where you've been. If I can find the wood. It's always at the last bit, so keep that in mind. 
So now, like, we can look for that. A rusty claymore. Torch is also good for this reason. It creates a little path. So you sort of know where you're heading. Know what to expect. I don't really know what I'm looking for. That might be a big problem. Hello. Oh my god. I'm just hoping I'll stumble into it. Boing. Boing! Uh-huh. That's fire. Um... The fuck? I have no idea. Now hold, hold, now hold up a second. Let me cut this tree down and light it on fire. Light the wood on fire. I think it's right here, right? Shit. I'm just guessing because I'm lazy. I don't want to pull something else out just to see it. Oh my god. Well, for one thing, I needed to actually cut the logs, but, you know. Okay. Alright, you want to be like that? You... Dastardly witch. There. That's what I've been trying to do. <laughs> Alright, the fire rod is already badly damaged, but... I don't know. Where am I heading towards? I think maybe the center? Let's head towards the center. Alright, so, yeah. That ball is definitely something that we need. And a Hinox is guarding it. And look at that. Let me mark that just so we don't lose it. Okay! Um, can use that, why not? Now, you could just climb up to him. But, why bother, right? You can just kill him like this. Aw oh, man, it didn't light his shit on fire. That's annoying. Let me, uh, blow him up, maybe. <laughs> Ow! You bitch. Oh, I got ice arrows. And here we go. Ow. I'm trying to knock that wood because that's definitely like the biggest fucking problem. Ugh. Hold on. Ow! Damn. You're a big ass problem, huh? There you are. And there it is. Royal Broadsword. That's nice. What is it? Oh my goodness, there's so much crap. So much junk. Royal bow again. You gotta be kidding me here. Alright, uh... Well, we can just replace this royal bow. I like the three multiplier bows. They're very helpful with Koroks, so... I tend to want to keep those. Is that a torch? Anyways. 
Yeah, general rule of thumb for this area, just head towards the center and you'll be fine. Well, that was easy. I was, I was like, man, is this gonna take me 40 minutes to do? No. What a stupid question. Alright, now all that's left is uh, heading towards it. The Shrouded Shrine! Yeah, yeah. No torches, whatever. I don't know if it's worth replacing my capture card. It seems to be doing fine for the most part. It's just sometimes... I don't know if the system's doing that. That's the thing. I don't know. I'll stop talking about it, though. Sorry. And it's a blessing. Who would have thought? I wonder what's in the chest. Could be something really good for a special shrine such as this. And it's not. Cool. Okay. Uh, we haven't let the cutscene play out. Let's just let it play out, you know what I mean? You've done well to arrive at this shrine. A hero rises to the right of the rungs of Hyrule. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. Yes. Come straight out of the abdomen and into my chest. Da -da 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 -da. May the goddess smile upon you. Thanks, bro. So ya. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Hot damn. By the way, that's the last shrine we're gonna do. If you're wondering why I have something marked here and haven't done anything with it yet. Okay, uh, I am now at a loss. Like, I don't know. Like, I guess the episode's over. It is about that time. I guess I planned well enough. Um... What the fuck am I looking for? Like... Hold on. I think we should just head towards Kakariko Village. Alright. Now let's get the hell out of these musty ass clothes. We've probably been sweating a fucking rainforest in here. Probably won't wear these for a while. But that's fine. Uh, it's so nice to be out free of those fucking clothes. Hello, loud fucking car. As usual, you are a pain in my neck. Just like real life, if you shoot a bunny, you can make money from it. A bloopy. Hello, bloopy. Uh, I knew I couldn't get it twice. I guess since you could just pick the arrows back up, it wouldn't hurt to spam. Can I pick up the rupee? Jesus Christ, dude. And as I thought, the uh, fairies aren't back. I was sort of coming to check on that. This is my usual rounds. So I like go through, get blue nightshade, um, the silent princesses, and endura carrots that spawn here every so often. Oh my god, the frame rate. Oh my god, the frame rate. I I'm I have to keep myself from ranting about Nintendo lately, but. I don't want to get started on that. Anyways. So, let's head down to Kakariko Village. I kind of just want to look around. Uh, I want to go to the store real quick. And also then explain something naughty that I did. Uh, get over here. Wait, this is the motel. I am a fool. Apples! Free apples! I like my free apples. Anywho. Um. 
Here's the store. And you've got arrows. I'll take them all, thank you. 50 rupees. Thanks. I don't really care about using fire arrows, so that's fine. Let me let me uh, show off selling a little, because I just want to explain just like how I've got so much money. Wait, what? Uh, I didn't read what she said. I didn't realize she was part of the fucking side quests. Anyway, buy from me. Anywho. If you want to know, you should look back at that, because I didn't realize. So we got like 204 of these, so what I do when I have like that, I'm going to just like have it, because it's a couple hundred. I'm not going to need that much, you know? And that's 200 rupees right there. I mean, that's not a whole lot. But we do come across- we're not gonna need them. That's my point. Uh, ancient stuff, I typically like to keep for that guy up uh, in that laboratory. But we do have like a ton of these, so let's give her a lot. I'm, I'm probably not gonna use them that much. Uh, and I'm also- I can grind at any point. So that's a thousand, just from a few of those. Uh, anyways, there's better stuff, like, for instance, the amber. I usually like to sell, like, a hundred of these, because, because, you know, there's just a, so much, and watch how much we get from this. Three thousand. And, uh, like, with opal, I typically go for, like, thirty. Thirty-five is fine. The rest I've been keeping, uh, these tend to be useful for upgrading materials, but luminous stone, definitely not. I do not care about luminous stone, they're fucking everywhere. How much do we have of it? Let's just, like, sell 70, and there's, like, nearly 5,000 rupees. Right there. Uh, so yeah, typically monster parts, because you fight a lot of monsters. A lot of these rocks, and now that we've unlocked Elden, uh, we can mine stuff, grind for it pretty easily. Um, and, you know, any ingredients like these apples, like you're not going to need apples all that much. Uh, so you can have like just a hundred. I'm going to go ahead and sell like a hundred of them. I don't know if this is like interesting to anyone, but if you're struggling with money like I did when I first played, uh, Definitely don't be afraid to sell anything. You can also sell meals, and typically they go for higher than what you would get from selling the individual ingredients. Uh, like this, for instance, I'm not going to need this. It's not going to be important. I'll keep one just in case like an NPC wants one. But, you know, why should I keep any of them? But anyways. So we gotta come back here. So there is a shrine quest in Kakariko Village that we're gonna do next time. I, I'm i glad I didn't do much of the side quests here, but basically to do the shrine quest, you have to do all of the side quests in town. One of them... What? Well, I don't know why the kid's not here right now, but one of them is this kid. Oh, probably because it's is raining. I don't know. One of them is this kid who sits here who wants to cook specific uh, stuff and you bring them ingredients to cook it. Um, I did it a couple times. Uh, so you're not going to see all of that. I wish I knew beforehand, but there it is. Uh, I thought it was just a regular unimportant side quest, but yeah. In order to do uh, all of the... Um, in order to get the, the shrine quest to activate, you need to do every side quest in Kakariko Village, okay? So that's all you need to do. But, that's not how we're starting off the next episode. Actually, uh, it might be. It doesn't matter what order I do it in, but uh, we're also going to go into Hyrule Castle next time. And uh, explore there. And get the memory and the shrine there. So that's like two more shrines down, and then we're going to head this way.
into this region. I don't know which order yet, but we'll see. Anyway, so thanks for watching, and have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs>